You know, for many of us, becoming ill with a virus might put us on the couch for a week or two, but after recovering, we can generally get back to the things we're used to doing. But for some people, contracting a viral infection can be life-altering and cause long-term debilitating symptoms that drastically reduce their quality of life. In the case of COVID-19, one of the side effects is chronic fatigue syndrome. Tonight, our Andrea Isom explores a treatment regime that has given people help and hope. Good Lord. Melanie Lusnick of Rochester is 32 years young. She is bright, beautiful, ambitious. But there was a time when Melanie would not have agreed with any of that. It is like you feeling your worst on your worst day. You can't get out of bed. You are so exhausted. Your muscles, it feels like your muscles won't even work. You're just kind of failing. This went on for several years. I lost my job. I, my relationship with my husband was, you know, not doing well. And there's just no like quality of life. It's like, why am I doing this? Is this the kind of thing that can make some people just want to give up? Yeah. Melanie was diagnosed with CFS, chronic fatigue syndrome. This is the worst form of exhaustion. You know, you get brain fog and have trouble remembering things, and it is the most frustrating thing to deal with, and, and it's not just going to go away on its own. The medications she was given by physicians didn't work, or the doctors just dismissed her and did nothing at all, until there was one. I'm in the business of decreasing human suffering. Dr. Joel Young is the founder and medical director of the Rochester Center for Behavioral Medicine. So chronic fatigue syndrome is a situation where people uniquely suffer. People with chronic fatigue always feel without energy, lethargic, and very problematically, they're not motivated. These folks are being overlooked. Um, they're, they tend to be minimized. I really um, am very sympathetic to them. You know what to do, you just don't have the physical energy to do it. And it can impact every aspect of your life. This really is a mystery. Medical professionals don't know what causes it, but primarily it affects women more than men in the prime of their lives. Thing is, physically, they look good. Their lab results and their physical exams turn out good as well, but they don't feel good. I think I've been able to find something that helps a lot of them. Some of these medications that have been available for the treatment of ADHD, we think we can get a better outcome with regard to fatigue, anxiety, and sometimes chronic pain as well. I've been on it for a couple of years now, and I still feel amazing. The use of LDX, which is an approved medication, might be a good agent to look for in these patients with CFS, post-COVID-19 syndrome. Yes, chronic fatigue syndrome is now associated with being a side effect of COVID-19. This uh, idea of long haulers, people who are virus free but continue to have symptoms of coronavirus, this population needs to be understood and researched. Dr. Young wrote a book, Understanding and Treating Chronic Fatigue, and a single site study was also conducted surrounding treatments. The goal is to get a multi-centered study throughout the country, and really the goal of my book is to increase awareness. You can recover, you can, you can actually have a normal life again. You know, once I actually got treatment, now I'm to the point where I have a job that I love, my relationship's better. It's entirely gratifying as a doctor to have a patient say, I'm doing well. Dr. Young saved my life. And there is no greater gift on earth. I'm Andrea Isom, 7 Action News.